day five, and uh, it's going to pretty much be a rest day for all of us. We're going to probably head, a, uh, head over to Dad's house in Richtown and probably uh, check out some of the old stuff. And I don't know, whatever happens today, but it's uh, nothing planned. Well, pretty much started our morning with just a uh, simple breakfast. Hot dogs, eggs, and fried rice. Guava apples. What's that there? Tico, what do you call that? Bayabas. Bayabas. Or guava. Headed to Richtown. We're going to Richtown, right? Where are you going? Richtown? Yeah. See, I'm going to Richtown. You're going to Richtown. Just so you know, my father has two properties in the Philippines. One condominium in Manila and a house here in Ridgetown. Uh, we were here a couple days ago, but unfortunately the tenants weren't home. We're about to meet Kim, an American Filipino that's residing at my father's home. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to clean. <laughs> so this is Kim, Dad's tenant. If Patrick Swayze and Charles Bronson had a love child, this would be him. <laughs> now let me give you a scoop about Kim. He's a businessman that has been living in the Philippines for almost about 14 years originally from Covina, SoCal. He opened up a nightclub in Angeles City, but the club closed due to raids and major infractions. Also, he's one of the most cleanliest guys I've ever met. The poster boy of all neat freaks. Check out on how he puts his non-perishables in order. Now there's people that clean their house, and then there's other people that clean their house, and he's one of them. Oh, and did I mention that he has piranhas? Those are piranhas. He should have himself his own plane. Yeah, those are piranhas. Oh, oh no. Actually, uh... Yeah, the one that's got red. I need to feed them now, so... I just defrosted the meat. You piranhas? Yeah. Wow, are you kidding me? When I bought them, they were the size of goldfish. Wow. Piranhas in my dad's house. Now, the house in Union City, all we have is betas. Oh man, I gotta be wow. wicked. They look like my pompano that I see yeah. again. Yeah. You stick your hand in there, they're, they're, gonna, they're, they're gonna eat your hand. <laughs> you see that, Keeks? See that? You don't, you don't wanna put your hand in there unless you want to. <laughs> Alright, here you go. Let's see. It's, it's only been a day. Oh. <laughs> it's only been a day. <laughs> After Kim entertained us with his piranhas, it was up the spiral staircase to my dad's loft where he had all his stuff locked away. Sorry, we don't go up there, so it's not clean. If it's dirty, it's now, Kim was being very apologetic on why the spiral staircase wasn't clean. Come on, dude. The display of your groceries in the kitchen is already a work of art. That shit should be displayed in the Smithsonian. If you look at your house, your house is nice. I'm worried about that. I think Kim is trying to get brownie points. What do you think? Behind door number three. All right. Ever since 2006, my father has been sending some of his stuff from Union City to the Philippines year after year. That is one of the intentions why I'm here in the Philippines. Not just to escort my dad back home, but also to retrieve sentimental stuff. Dad has so much stuff, and we have so little time. One's enough. Yeah, you want to... uh, bootleg. Uh, <laughs> no bootlegs. Dad's collection here. Bootleg. He's a bootlegger. Boston translation. 
Yeah. Casino Jack. Jack. <laughs> to, oh, wow, look at that. It's a machete. Look, Kiko. Machete. Is it hard? Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that to me. Oh my god, it's giving me some of his clothing here. I feel like I'm in a thrift store. This one is this, $1.99, 95 cents. Huh? Uh, we're not even done yet. We're gonna have to come back. It's challenging to come down those spiral staircases and bring one item each. Nah, he had to break it down. I'm already breaking a sweat. This is my workout for today. So this is some of the stuff we loaded just for today and Kim decided to invite us for dinner tonight at my dad's house weird Here's one of the things that my dad brought from storage Frickin cool This is dad's, this is dad's gun that we got from storage. I wish he could give it to me <laughs> And here's me channeling my own Liam Neeson I don't know who you are, but I will look for you, I will find you, and I will kill you. Good luck. Just so you know too, mm. Auntie Nati was also packing heat yeah, as well. Careful, careful. Oh, I'm serious, sir. No, this is a silicon or something. So what you do is just click. Oh, I'm waiting know. for another show. At and here is my dad channeling his own Fernando Poe Jr. Shh. Oui. I will kill you. Tu tangana, I will kill you. So I'm dressed up. We're going back to Richtown where my dad's house uh, is. And uh, we've been invited to dinner. Uh, the guy who's renting it out, Kim, uh, is... Uh, Hooking us up for some din din tonight, and uh, I don't know, just hang out for a bit, see how the night goes. Gotta make sure Kiko has a seat belt. Oh, uh, you see your Superman shirt? That's a cool shirt. We got that at uh, Green Hills yesterday, amongst other shirts. But uh, oh, show them what you got. Show mommy what you got yesterday, too. Bought that yesterday. We had to haggle down to $350. Of course, that's in pesos. <laughs> You like your tricycle? Yeah. Okay, this song here, I heard this 30 years ago when I was here in the Philippines and we used to sing it. Now it's on the radio station. You just what I would do. I can just stop loving you. Here's a joke. I remember one of my cousins telling me 30 years ago. Knock, knock. Who's there? Ajax Ketchup Avenue. Ajax Ketchup Avenue who? Ajax Ketchup Avenue. <laughs> so it's back to the house in Richtown and back to the piranhas. Kim, our host, was fashionably late. So we met his two kids, Michael and Kaylee. Like you. Hi. Hi, Michael. What's your name? What is your name, baby? Yeah. Michael, age of 10, and Kaylee, age 2, were sitting down and enjoying themselves a bootleg version of Tarzan the movie. A couple minutes into the movie, our hosts arrive. Thank you for hostility. In front of Kim's home is a smoker. Now, he's told us that he smoked a ham all day for eight hours straight. I gotta tell you, I'm not a big fan of ham, but having it smoked tasted really good. Next, we got to hear about Kim's anecdotes on piranha. I've had all kinds of fish, right? Um, this is the first time I ever had uh, piranhas. But you know what? I mean, out of all the fish I've ever had, they're very loving. Very, very loving. I mean, piranha are loving, he says. You know, you guys are here, but 
before when you know I come home from work, I would sit here and they'd be over there and then they would just migrate to you know this side. Maybe because they want to eat you? They're just really loving fish. <laughs> hmm, I don't know about that. Why don't we stick our whole hand in there and see how much love they can give? Okay. New dessert I found in the Philippines is Mango Tango Nutty Buddies. One dessert that Kim and his girlfriend liked was Auntie Nati's Cheesecake. Hell, with that cheesecake, I, I couldn't see how anything that you're bad. Kiko seemed to like his new playmates, Michael and Kaylee. They opened up a restaurant together. <laughs> they also found a football team together. Kaylee's gonna be a screaming linebacker. Kaylee grew so attached to Kiko, she wanted to go with him. You wanna go with us now? Okay, you ready, baby? Let's go eat. Wow. Okay. What do you think about that, Kiko? Oh, looks like she wants to go with us, huh? You wanna go back to your mommy and daddy? You're gonna go bye-bye, mommy? You're not gonna miss mommy? Uh oh. She said no. That's bad. Are you gonna go? See the kasha, oh? We're, you're not gonna fit. We're gonna go in the other car. Yeah. Go in the back seat, baby. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Looks like I'm gonna have to get adoption papers. Bev and I always wanted a daughter. You got a new sister now. <laughs> she was in the car for a good okay, whole Kiko. ten minutes. We had to tell Kiko to step out okay. for a bit, so she could follow him, and it worked. Okay, you play with Geek. Hi, how are you? As we waited for Kaylee to settle <laughs> in, we went across Hi. the street from my dad's place where Kim's parents actually live. <laughs> Kim has an intention to purchase my father's home so he can be close to his parents. And my dad, I don't think he ever will go back to that house again. But if he ever decides to sell it, Kim's a really nice guy and he should be a candidate. So this is what I found so far three photo albums. Now I don't know what the future holds for my father here in the Philippines. Since he got sick two years ago, his intention is to stay close to home in America. We can't predict his future, but all I know since I'm here, I want to make sure we bring our memories back home. <laughs>